Okay, so a tailwind. So crashing tailwind. All party members gain plus one bonus for every five character levels. Minimum plus one to damage rolls with bludgeoning weapons. Meh. Tailwind of Scorched Earth. All some spellcasters in the party are protected from harming their allies. That's the one we just did. Tailwind of Fists. Unarmed strikes make your party. Made by your party members, gain a plus one bonus on attack rolls and deal an additional one damage. Deal dash, sorry, and deal an additional damage die on the same type as the primary one. One d4 becomes two d4. One d6 becomes two d6. Unarmed strikes made by your party members gain plus one bonus. Hmm, that's a monk thing. Claws are considered unarmed? No. Or are they? They're all boring, but the fist one is okay. If you're doing, you know, unarmed stuff, sure. Which we can. Not everybody has to do it, but at least it'll give somebody possibly a bonus. But this one, meh. Crashing work for Monk. Now it specifically says bludgeoning weapons. It's a, it specifically says weapons. Usually when they do that, if they, they meant fists, they would say fists. That's been my experience with this stuff. Religious monk? Okay. It might still count unarmed as bludgeoning weapons. No, it's not that important. We'll go fists though. Because we know we know this will work on monk. And a religious monk for hobo. What kind of a religious monk is the real question? Custom character. So what kind of monk do you want to be, Hobo? We can always come back to this portrait stuff, so it's not a big deal. But monk. Monk, monk, monk. Hello, everyone. My name is Chaos? Veronica, and welcome no to Gimpy's Twitch Chaos channel. Monk. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. Also, please like and comment on his videos. He won't bite. I promise. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Yes, if you want to be one of the members of the group, uh, unless your name is Hobo, uh, type in exclamation point BBQ in chat. Keep in mind that uh, if you have knowledge of Pathfinder and stuff, that'll help. If you don't, it doesn't matter. We can still help you build character if you want. Again, player's choice. Might sit this one out. Maybe you'll get a character in next week. I don't think we're going to have... Well, we'll be fine. Hobo. So... Want to be a Zen archer, or because that's technically not a. That's different. If you want to take advantage of the bonus that we're getting, it's got to be a scaled fist, sensei, I think, right? Uh, Stephen of Stone. Got to be an Orient for that. No, he's not throwing his fist with the bow. Or, no. Stone, student of Stone, this is. By following the path of the stone, students of Stone give up much of Monk's mobility in favor of sheer resilience. So, let's see. 
Shells. So he loses fast movement. Strength of Stone. There's a draw strength from the earth. So long as he is touching the ground, the student of stone gains a plus one bonus on attack rolls, damage rolls, bull rush, and trip combat maneuver rolls. And to a CMD when resisting a bull rush or trip attack. He does just really quick on this run and maybe reset tailwing. <laughs> uh, you're not helpful, right? Now. So you want Sensei? No, I, I haven't seen Sensei. Sensei is a reviewed teacher who imparts lessons on the oneness of mind, body, and spirit, along with occasional correction that is subtle and swift. Rather than using wisdom for his own benefit alone, he uses it to better those around him. So what does that mean? Spark. Oh, he's basically a, a bunk a monk bard. <laughs> He inspires courage. That's a bard thing. Inspire confidence. Yeah, he's basically a bard. He's a bard with that punches people in the face. That's really what he is. Eh. If you want to be a real monk, it's either it's scaled fist and traditional monk or a regular monk. And what's the difference between monk and traditional monk? Traditional monk's abilities are more traditional. He loses his, or he doesn't really pick his key powers that come in automatically. Right? He still gets uh, flurry of blows and regular monk bonuses. I think he doesn't miss out on key powers. Yeah. Scaled fist. So, scaled fist. So scaled fist, these are the ones. It's charisma instead of wisdom, correct? For these guys. AC bonus. Yeah, charisma instead of uh, wisdom. And they get different uh, feats. They get different monk bonus stuff. More dragon-like, hence the scaled fist. Sound good, Hobo? You basically have a little bit of a dragon blood in you, is really what the idea is behind the scaled fist. Yes? Okay. Now the question is, what race do you want to be? You can be one of the rock people, and you want to be male or female. Female half elf. Okay, your heritage. Basic, dual, or kindred race. So basic is you're just regular half elf. Oh, you have to do your adaptability. Select the skill focus as a focus feat at first level. We do that, or dual heritage, we get Elven Magic. So, bonus cash level checks, that's not a thing for you. Kindred Raised. Ah, extra charisma. You want this. 
get a bonus to charisma because you're gonna, as a scaled fist, your uh, charisma is important to you. So this isn't a bad way to go. Plus you get, no, you don't. You just get the bonus charisma. You'll be fine. Okay, and then your background. Uh, you want to be a street urchin pickpocket, so you get a bonus to your initiative rolls. You also add trickery and stealth to your list of class skills. Which isn't a bad idea. This trickery part, at least. Acrobat. Trickery mobility. Meh. Mugger. It's just the weapon proficiencies, isn't it? What other backgrounds are good for monks? Anything? Or do you say yes to the pickpocket? Sorry. Pickpocket, okay. Okay, and as far as stats go. That, uh... See, the higher these go, the more your armor class goes up. Really no other background that gives much of a bonus to a monk. Well, it seems like, yeah. Two points left. You can either reduce the dexterity and put some more points into this stuff, or... Kindred is only want to start with 22. Why would you want to start that high in charisma? That's a lot of points. <laughs> Just for a couple of points of AC. <laughs> Wiser or smarter? More, get more skill points if you go this way. Just one more, actually. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Damn it. Go check on the dogs. We can get this. Your next break is in one hour. Three, I think. That's not a problem there. We start for a sorcerer, and it's not any more points than taking a set stat 18 without a. Well, yeah, but this isn't a sorcerer. Okay, Hobo, do you want to be smarter or wiser? Or do you want a little bit more hit points, which this is only going to get you one per level. It's not that big a deal. Actually, none of this is a big deal. Wisdom. Okay, then skills, you want mobility. You want trickery. And... Perception. And then if we do weapon finesse, this gives you a bonus to your attack rolls based on dexterity. So this is a good thing to do for a monk. It's a great thing to do for a monk who's dexterity based, of course. Uh, and a bonus feat. So blind fight, combat reflexes, crane style. This is a defensive thing. Dodge will work as well. You don't need this one right away. Again, this makes it so you take a penalty to hit, but you're harder to hit too. And fighting defensively, you gain a bonus of plus one dodge. But it's only a minus two penalty as opposed to the negative negative four. So crane. Now, let's go back to your little portrait real quick so I can pick something. Okay, so you're a half-elf. Do we have any half-elf female portraits? I don't 
Or sorry, monk ones. We just use that one. No. It's an Asimar that doesn't work. These are humans anyway. Stinky humans. Gotta get this done quick. I gotta take a break. Page middle. That one? Is this the one you were thinking of? Okay. So, green style. Deity, which deity would you like? None of these deities matter to you. It just, it's all fluff. So you can be atheists. Again, it doesn't matter. Pick. Atheist it is. Makes my life easier. Will make you lawful neutral because this way they can't use their little smite good on you. It doesn't work on lawful any of the neutral stuff, so there's no smite neutrals, so it's always great to be neutral. It's a good thing. Ah, oh, the appearance. Ah, oh, let's see. Kind of a golden brown, right? For the hair. Okay, scream out a number for the hairstyle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or it doesn't matter. Nine. Okay. And just leave it at that. I think that'll be fine. Interesting. Ah, the voices. A mere flesh wound. Confident. All I see is Mad woman. I will see this through. Pious. We won't falter. Brave. My skills exceed yours. Observed. I lead, you follow. Aggressive. Someone else would make better use of this. Pragmatic. The spell's not working. Carefree. What's mean? It's mean. She doesn't have any magic. What's that glitter? Cunning. Or, of course, none. You should have run. Quick, quick. Else we miss all the fun. Carefree. This hurts so much. Okay, what what version of hobo do we want this time? We need a second carrier a, a second carrier still. A second char not carrier character. We need a second character for somebody to pick or to be. Which we will get resolved here when I get back from break time though. Uh, you were at. They died, Jeff. Hobo Fist. They died, Jeff. Away, you rascal! They died a horrible, horrible. De well, it wasn't a horrible, horrible death. It was just an annoying death because we were fighting something that one of our characters was basically not good. Couldn't do anything against. Actually, two characters couldn't do anything against because he kept deflected bad as arrows and basically. Benny couldn't touch it with the hexes and stuff. A simple smile goes a long way. 
Okay, now this one we have to go talk to what's his face right away. Where is he? Crap, I am screwed up because I spun the camera around. Now this is the way in, right? So exciting! So exciting, but not. Yeah, it's back this way. Okay. Anyway. Are there good deaths? Sure there are. Hey, Wink. Welcome back, by the way. And Fanny's in. Okay, well, think of your character. Which is the that gets extra damage when charging? Spears or pikes? Uh, I have no idea. I didn't even think that was a thing. So, anyway. I gotta get up, stretch my legs, get some water. That kind of thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.